I'm not gonna lie. I was really... Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Black Box. It's an Amazon original film. I believe it's from Blumhouse. Uh, the movie stars Mohamedou Athi. He was in Uncorked, which is also on Netflix. Um, Felicia Rashad and Amanda Christine. Uh, it follows this guy. I believe his name is Nolan. He gets into a car accident. He loses his wife and his he loses his memories. He doesn't know how to do the day to day things that he was used to doing all his life. So you have his daughter uh, played by Amanda Christine. She's trying to help him through it like, Dad, this is what we do here. Um, this is the lunch you got to make me. Dad, this is how you do this. I'm going to help you tie your tie. So that part of the movie is like really cute just seeing their interactions and, you know, how she's trying to help him and, you know, bring him along. Even like when he drops her off to school and, you know, different things. She's like, you're doing a good job. You, you did it right. And, you know, she asks him questions about like, his job and, you know, to make sure he's doing things uh, the right way. Um, but, you know, he's struggling because he can't remember who he is. He can't remember the simple things in his life. And he goes to get this experimental treatment done. Um, and the doctor's played by Felicia Rashad. And she's like, I can get your memories back. I can put them back in your head and you have to, like, navigate your way. And he's like, OK, you know, I'll do it. So he, he starts the treatment and you get a little insight about his life. You see little, you know, di little details about his life and he starts remembering things. He's like, oh, I, I seen my wedding and I seen where, you know, me and my wife lived. And, you know, he's starting to figure things out. And the problem is he doesn't know what's real. He doesn't know, you know, what's fake. And that's the 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 mystery of it all. Um, it's described as a horror I wouldn't say it's a horror. It's more a mystery sci-fi. Um, he sees this like disfigured person. He doesn't really see faces in his memories, and I guess that's where the horror sequence would come in. And it becomes more suspenseful, you know, each time he goes to try to retrieve his memories because he doesn't know, you know, what exactly is is real in you know when he's looking for these memories. And I thought it that that kept me glued to the screen to see, you know, what would he see next? You know, what would he discover next? Um, and you see his relationship with his daughter change, you know, as he's trying to figure things out, he's changing his attitude towards her. Um, and it's, it, it really freaks her out. Um, uh, I thought it was a, a, a well done movie. You know, it's not a really long movie. It's about an hour and 40. So it, it, it starts off right off the bat, like just giving you the, the mystery of it all. You don't see the accident or anything. She's already, his wife is already dead. You don't see her. So every time he goes into his memories, you're like, is this a real memory? Is this his memory? Is this, you know, is this going to help him protect his daughter? Um, but the movie is very interesting. I think anybody who has Amazon Prime should check it out. Uh, Mohamedou, I really liked him in Uncork. So when I saw him in this, I was like, I need to check this out because I think he's a, a really solid actor. And Felicia Rashad is Felicia Rashad. Come on now. Um Amanda Christine, the young girl that plays his daughter, um, I wish she was in it a little bit more. She was really cool, um, really strong uh, with her delivery, you know, talking to him because she had to talk to him like he didn't know any better. And that's how she talked to him. Like, yo, dad, we're not doing this. Dad, we're going here. Dad, we eating this. I'm going to cook this meal. And I thought she put on a nice performance. So the performances are really well done. Um, the way it's shot is good in terms of like the dream sequences and the blurry faces that lead to that mysterious, you know, sci-fi feeling. Um, but Black Box, if you watched it, let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for listening. Deuces.